Eugene Glover, of course, um, was my older brother. And uh, was a, the kind of brother that I always looked up to. Uh, he gave Jacksonville, Florida, first African-American sheriff and the first African-American sheriff in the state of Florida since Reconstruction because it would have been no way that I would have gone to college had it not been for my brother. Nat Glover is one of Jacksonville's history makers, serving as the city's first African-American sheriff from 1995 to 2003. Today, he's a respected speaker, city leader, and the president of Edward Waters College. But Glover is quick to tell you that the real hero in his family is his older brother, Eugene. My brother took me around with him. You know, and I, I got an opportunity to, um, to see how people reacted to him. He was a kind of a, a guy who the guys all liked and, and respected, you know, but I don't think he was the toughest guy. So it, it's, it's not like the bully who goes out and say, you better respect me, but people respected them or uh, him based on, I guess he earned their respect. And, and, and I always wanted to, uh, to be like that. My brother um, was a stellar athlete at um, Stanton High School at that particular time. Uh, played uh, basketball, played football, all conference. He was the most valuable player. If you asked who was the best athlete in this city, African-American in the black com community, it was uh, obviously uh, my brother. And of course, I kind of grew up in his shadow. His brother and his brother's shadow motivated Glover to stay in high school and even go on to college. Um, he was so proud of me being in college because when he got an opportunity to go to college because of his scholarship, um, my parents, my family did not have the resources to keep him there, although he was on scholarship. And I got the opportunity, and, uh, and I, I was certain that he was convinced that I was not going to fail, and, and, uh, and, 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 I, and I didn't. In this photo, Eugene is being honored for more than 40 years of service as a member of the city's Parks and Recreation Department. Glover says parks were important to him and Eugene's children, and they're still important today. When I grew up um, in our neighborhood, we had, a, we had a park administrator in every park who actually kind of kept track of all the kids in the neighborhood. They knew them by name, they knew what their uh, situations were at home, they kept up with them, and the kids respected them. And if, in the absence of that kind of direct supervision, the parks have to be kept up in a way, in a safe place for people to gather and somewhere for them to go. Because in a lot of these homes around here, the, the park is the, the gathering place. Many in the city recognize Eugene's positive influence on the kids and community he served. So much so, in fact, that after his passing in 2007, the city honored him by renaming this playground at J.P. Small Park the Eugene M. Glover Memorial Playground. He worked at this uh, J.P. Small Park for years, and, and um, he was kind of like an icon in the community. All the kids came up and and, and of course he was a presence in that sense. So naming the park after him for his service in this community, for his service to the Recreation Department in Jacksonville, Florida, and for his play out here in this park, J.P. Park. I mean, it's, it, I, thought, I always thought it was a home run. And I was just honored to have a park uh, with the name Glover attached to it. I mean, that's a big deal to uh, me and my family.